New documents obtained by Fox News show officials at the National Archives passed up numerous opportunities to secure Hillary Clinton's emails, both while she was Secretary of State and when she was a private citizen, and unilaterally purged her private server of 30,000 pages of emails. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen reports. During Hillary Clinton's final days as Secretary of State, documents obtained by Fox News show the chief records custodian at the National Archives and Records Administration emailed his colleagues to sound the alarm that Clinton might run off with her official records. There are or may be plans afoot for Clinton taking her records from state to Little Rock. NARA official Paul Wester wrote in December 2012, we need to discuss what we know and how we should delicately go about learning more about Clinton's departure from state. The Wester email is one of 73 documents that NARA and the State Department turned over this month in response to a Freedom of Information Act request by Cause of Action, a nonpartisan government accountability watchdog. How do we have a system of noncompliance, a system of essentially even National Archives employees who are supposed to be objective delicately dealing with the potential of illegal activity. NARA is, by federal statute, entrusted with supervisory authority over the executive branch agencies and their employees, tasked with ensuring their records are properly preserved and stored. But the documents show NARA officers exercising precious little oversight over Hillary Clinton. In late 2009, NARA archivist David Langbart wrote to his colleague Michael Kurtz about the issue they were observing with the preservation of, quote, high-level memos generated within S slash ES. That's the office of the Secretary of State within the department's executive secretariat. It now appears that they will be establishing their own record-keeping system, Langbart noted. And after the New York Times broke the Clinton private email story three months ago, NARA's general counsel, Gary Stern, privately emailed the National Archivist himself. David Ferrero to say NARA does look into allegations of this type. This case, if true, would present a concern. Among those surprised by the Clinton server bombshell was James Springs, NARA's acting inspector general, who swiftly emailed Paul Wester to ask, were we aware the government email system was not being used by Ms. Clinton? Wester forwarded the email to seven other NARA colleagues saying only, I will talk to James. I remain mystified by the fact that the use of a private email account apparently went either unnoticed or unremarked upon during a four-year tenure in office of the former secretary. Simply put, where was everyone? Two recent polls show the controversy swirling around Mrs. Clinton taking a toll. A CNN survey finds her favorability rating reaching a 14-year low, while a Washington Post-ABC News poll finds 55% of Americans disapproving of the way that Clinton has handled questions about her emails. Brett. James, thanks. Not the end of this.